It's the unofficial start of summer, and already the National Weather Service says we're having our first heat wave of the year this long Memorial Day weekend. Good evening, I'm Cynthia Arsenault. Weather experts say it means a chance for heat-related impacts. Teresa Schmidt reports on how to be heat-aware and healthy as temperatures rise. Whether it's here or not doesn't really matter because it's coming. Those hot days of summer that can pose a health risk. It's hot. Uh, it feels like just a couple, three weeks ago, you woke up in the morning and it felt like summer was here in, in full force. But uh, since, the, since the storms ripped through uh, a couple of weeks back, I haven't been able to get to the yard. So we finally, finally took the transformers out the front yard off the sidewalk and I'm able to drag the trees over to the side and get the yard done. It just happens to be super duper hot and humid outside. Some of us don't spend the whole work day inside. That's why I pack myself a little kit so that I have cold drinks always available. And FEMA says sports drinks help you replenish vitamins lost when sweating. The CDC says if you wait until you're thirsty, you're already dehydrated. Well, my wife makes sure she's got every 45 minutes an hour, she's running some ice water or something out to us with lemonade and making sure that we stay hydrated because it, it doesn't take long and it certainly certainly can sneak up on you and if you're not if you're not hydrated you stay out in the sun too long there are lots of life-saving tips to avoid heat exhaustion or heat stroke and to increase how comfortable you are mm. oh that feels good this is just one way to chill out nice cold paper towel but the important part is to stay aware and prepared and have a plan so you don't find yourself in a dangerous predicament Teresa schmidt seven news in lake charles a spokesperson for the city says they monitor weather conditions throughout the summer and work to support the efforts of area nonprofits and faith-based organizations visit kplctv.com for tips on avoiding heat-related illnesses and keeping your loved ones safe